The regenerative food system is one that takes into account the whole entire ecosystem from the microbes in the soil to the winged predator and it also pays attention to the community. I'm Jacqueline and I am a shepherdess and a mother. My family and I grow lambs for Central Grazing Company but we also work with other farmers in the Great Plains and the Midwest. I started Central Grazing Company in 2015 as a way to help get animals out of the feedlot system into a more um, natural uh, food line for people. We are currently helping to kind of elevate, especially um, rural communities in the Midwest and the Great Plains where we've seen this huge exodus of people leaving this area for other opportunities because of the collapse of the agricultural system. What we do here on our farm, we rotate our sheep every 24 hours. We build these temporary movable fences that we keep our sheep in. We come out here every day and just pick up the fence and move it to another location. It helps us reduce the predator impact on our flock. It also helps keep the parasite population down in my flock and then it protects the soil. So if we allow the roots to grow really long root systems and that can tap down into the groundwater and to become stronger above ground too. The plants have long resting periods in between the grazing cycles. We try to achieve about a 60 to 90 day rest on the pasture before we put our sheep back on it. That is the philosophy of mimicking how the Great Plains evolved through great herds of herbivores that once roamed these areas. When we have ourselves connected individually to the land and to each other and to our community, it makes this really powerful connection to our food system, which is opportunities for rural communities to kind of grow and become the agrarian culture that founded the United States. I'm Jacqueline and I am a shepherdess and a